ladies, it's Belinda for She Rocks. I want to invite you to come and be a part of the fashion show and luncheon that we will be having here at the church on Saturday, May 11th at noon. There's a sign-up sheet in the back and we'd love to have you come and be a part of this. The fashions are being provided by Divas Designs. I think you're going to really enjoy what you see walking down the runway. We want you to just come and be a part of what we have going on here at She Rocks and just really enjoy what it means to be a lady and you know, enjoy the fashions and the great fellowship and the time that we're going to be able to share together. Look forward to seeing you there. Today is the day of the all-church picnic, immediately following the morning service. Meet us at Emerald Cove Park where we celebrate our freedom over food and fellowship. The cost is free, but the fun is priceless. Come and be a part. Again, immediately following after the service, Emerald Cove Park, right on the corner of Hageman and Patton Way. See you there. Don't forget Dollar Dinners every Thursday night from 6 to 6.45 p.m. Get a better deal for your dollar. Something new and different every Thursday night. The best value meal in town. The School of Ministry has begun, but it's not too late. You can still sign up and join the classes. Just come on Monday evening at 6 o'clock and you can get registered and join Knowing God's Voice or Strategies for Spiritual Warfare Part 2. The Word says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. Come, learn how to do that. Stand in God, grow in God, and watch the miracles happen. Join us every Wednesday night for intercessory prayer. Doors open at 6.30. Corporate prayer starts at 7 p.m. Come and intercede for the body of Christ. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is also freedom. Men, there's a war going on. A war of spiritual darkness against us, the men of God. It's time for us to stand up and fight. The Apostle Paul said, I fought the good fight of faith. Join me, join John Esser, join the men of God that are rising up and fighting that good fight of faith because the Word declares that we are more than conquerors in Christ. So come Friday mornings at 6.30 at Spencer's Restaurant every Friday or on the 18th of this month, come and join us at the church at 7 a.m. We're going to have men's breakfast and a time of study and prayer. It's that time, men, where you can put on the gloves and learn how to fight. And now a word from our sponsors. Hello, my name is Richard Richardson, and this is a public service announcement brought to you by SkitGuys.com and the Center for Male Preparedness. We want to talk to you today about an affliction that affects 7 out of 10 men. It happens on birthdays and anniversaries, but the one that is most heinous is an affliction called FMD, forgetting Mother's Day. Husbands suffer from FMD all around the world. It is like a thick fog, like a train that never leaves the station. It's like a big fat piece of cheese that sits in the back of an icebox forgotten, that grows mold and eventually grows hair. Men furrow their brows and ask the question, what am I forgetting today? Is today my birthday? <laughs> Just like a man making it about himself. But the sad fact of the matter is, when FMD sets in, it is just too late. And before you know it, there you are, sitting in front of your wife, your bride, the mother of your children, smiling, trying in vain to make last year's white elephant gift of his and her bedazzled jean jackets look respectable, as you try to pass it off in some precious moment. But these modern day women are no fools, my friend. They can smell a last minute scramble like Tim Tebow in a playoff situation. So, the warning cry has been sounded. You have your reminder. Red Rover, Red Rover, let daddy come over. Get a pencil, put it on your calendar, let Siri remind you or just tattoo the date on the fatty part of your underarm. Whatever you do, let's make FMD a thing of the past. My friends, Mother's Day is nigh. Don't let FMD be your alibi. Good day. I said good day.